Legend of Total War here with part 9 of my Medieval 2 Total War Let's Play campaign as England. Playing as the new, newly coronated king, King Stephen, who is quite young. So that means we probably get, I don't know, 4, 5, 6 episodes out of him, depending on exactly how much he gets done. Now then, um, he'll continue on his father's, uh, father's legacy of defeating his, uh, these enemies that have declared war on us. Now, let's have a look here. So his father... His body is barely even cold and in the ground, but we've got to keep moving. Now, our standing with the Pope is really bad. Wait, what? Hang on, looking at this, it, it's... We didn't actually lose that mission against Poland. Or maybe they, he just set it back up again. I don't know. But anyway, the Hungarians are, um... Are excommunicated, so they're a fair game. But we've got to come over here and try and get rid of the French. Having a look at the French, their standing's better than ours. Uh, we could give the, the the Papacy a bit of a donation. That might help. I don't know. I mean, how pious is he? Let's have a look at his stats. So he's moderately um, pious. Got some good authority. We can probably send captains out. He's got good command. Royally extravagant. Speaks of loyalty. Okay. He's trusting. Yeah, don't like that. Born conqueror, night fighter, mostly rational. So he's not hes not really a believer. He's like an agnostic. Um, understands logistics. Good. Great crusader, noble in rule, feels appreciated. He's brave. Okay. Somewhat of a blank slate. Now then. If I can get my standing with the Pope up... I don't know if I really want to though, because I keep funneling money into the Pope and then I make one attack and then it's just, it just goes right back down. Although getting excommunicated could be a big problem, especially if, if they call a crusade on us, that would be a big problem. So yes, it's mother. probably a good idea. We've got the money and I'll just, I'll just pay off the Pope. Problem is doing this ah, there is something else you would 343 yes. times it's something just is really like annoying. What I might do is pause the recording as I'm doing this, because this is boring, and I'm going to have to do this quite a bit. Okay, so I got it up to perfect, which which should be basically one cross off from being full. Yep. Alright, good. And that gives us a little wiggle room with which to play around with. Then. So this is... Innsbruck is owned by our allies. I don't think they're going to betray me. Um, the Venetians, they're excommunicated as well, aren't they? They are. I do, of course, want to take them out, but I think we need to take out the French first. We First things first, go and kill that army. Can we recruit some troops here? Yep. Good, just to leave something behind. By your will, sire, we shall engage. Are the Hungarians... Glory. Allied with Poland. No. As you command, my liege. All right, let's do this. Muster your courage, men. We march into battle. So now, with the um, with the extra rating with the Pope, that'll allow us to attack. Catholic factions that are in good faith with him without getting excommunicated ourselves. I carry many great wounds, all honorably earned in battle. I and all earned in honorable service, like a true Englishman. Perhaps today I will gain another scar if that is God's will. I am certain, however that I will strive to gain another victory. These Hungarians make a brave show, but that is hardly enough when it comes to battle. We shall see shortly if they know how to die well. I see the foe dare not fight us man to man, but must rely on a woman's stratagem of throwing things at us. And remember, my enemies know that I am a brave man by repute, and I do not willingly keep company with poltroons. 
You are all picked brave men here, and the enemy know this. Your bravery already unmans them. Let's do the rest and finish them! So apparently he's not much of an inspiring speech speaker either, but that's fine. Alright, um, we've got a bit of a high ground advantage here, so we can afford to wait for them to come to us and we'll just bomb them in the meantime. We are really lacking in cavalry. I'll need to go buy a castle. Is it? No, not purchase a castle. I need to go buy one of my castles and pick up some, um, some cavalry. Uh, they've got artillery as well. And they want to stand back. They've actually got a high ground. A higher high ground. Alright, well we'll have to go to them. Come to here and then I'll send my artillery forward. Okay, now they're moving forward as well. I don't really care if we lose the, the trebuchets at this point. Okay, so you guys can just stay right behind them. And we'll just see how much damage we can do. Good, we took out one of their trebuchets, that helps. Took out both of them, that was super lucky. The chances of us actually landing a good hit is pretty low. That's all free kills. I think we're better off actually just using standard shot. It's just far more accurate. So it actually hit its target there. So yeah, kills wise they don't usually do a whole lot, especially when you're not up against a huge blob. That's what they're really good for, getting rid of blobs. Good one. Fewer catapult to worry about. And they've got a decent number of kills, I mean, 8% is not bad. Not to mention they also took out those trebuchets. So they'll, they'll be totally useless now. Alright, let's get ready. All that charge to do it, because they've got a lot of um, missile units. Alright. Hang on, hang on. Just don't bother. All right, charge.
And chat, run to this fucker right here. Good to make sure he's in just make sure he's in uh, no danger. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, we don't need the infantry to chase after the uh, the crossbowmen. Handle that. Take out these damn catapults. The enemy general has no one. Only half the enemy force remains. Run, get run to the thick of it. Move it. Behold, Don't let them get away. Need the ransom money. It's time to press the attack. Given his level of chivalry, execution of uh, prisoners is well off the table. But that doesn't mean we can't kill them, just as long as they refuse a ransom. What are you doing? They're just not obeying my orders. I mean, we've almost got to 85%, but I want to capture enough of them that they would refuse the ransom. Pathfinding on this one was a bit, bit fucked. Oh well. Okay, we just managed to get 85%. We've captured 221 of them. They might accept that ransom, they might not. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great. Still, we barely lost any troops, so we're fine. Good. And they got wiped out as well. An honorable, glorious victory. Hail my king. By your will, sire, we shall engage. Glory, honor, victory! I'm just wondering if perhaps Hail we should get king. rid of the trebuchet. Hail my king. I'll, I'll keep it with us for now. It's just that we are kind of in a bit of a rush to get back over here. Um, yeah. And his brother over here is um, besieging Krakow. I think it's pronounced Krakow. He used to pronounce it Krakow, but then I heard someone say Krakow, which actually sounds more correct. I don't know if it is, though. Yes. Alright, so we've got heaps of money here. Hail my king. With honor, sire. Okay, so we could besiege this. Alright, do that. As you will, my king. To Certainly don't assault her just yet. Noble, sire. We shall prevail in this siege, sire. But that'll hold out for a long time. Order. But I just want to keep it under siege just for, as I get these guys out of here. Sire, my lord. 65% if we just recruit some more of them. Orders. Sire. Yes. Good, then next turn they can go over to there. Okay, need more public order. So looking at this, that's gone down to 30%. It was at 40% last time I checked it. Yeah, that's not a big deal. That'll only take two. Uh, extra extra law is very useful, and also we'll end up getting some more um, different types of units to defend against um, Mongols or Timurids or who knows what. What year is it anyway? 1262. So we, we're not expecting the Timurids for another 100 years, another 50 turns. Something like that. Whoops. Gunpowder will be invented next. That's the next big thing to happen. Then will be the Black Plague. And shortly after the Black Plague will be the um, 
the Black Death, the um, the Timurids, the Yellow Black Death. And hopefully they show up near Russia. But it's random. So Edinburgh. Got a little bit of unrest here. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Maybe just get the cathedral in there, try and lower heresy. Definitely need more troops. Doesn't matter if it's all just trash. Um, we just need to really deter the Venetians from attacking it. Okay, I might save up the cash that I've got left so I can spend it on next turn. How much money are we making? Reasonable amount of cash, about 20,000 a turn. Okay, you need to make that attack next turn. Yep, you're ready to go. Let's do this. Ah, damn. Look at this, it's mostly just peasants anyway. I mean, it's not going to be enough to, to repel it, but still. Main thing I hope is that they either just occupy it or sack it. Don't exterminate the population. Should have recruited some more troops at Rams. I thought destroying that extra troop in there might have um, delayed it. But I'll take it all back off them. The My army's on its way. To our people, sire. I need to find my my king now. Uh, a wife. too bad, apart from just losing Dijon. Theologians Guild Headquarters at Alexandria. Sure, why not? That'll help with our purchases of our priests. Mission failed. Takes element Zaragoza. Well, whatever. Coming of age Jacob down here. Damn it. All, all these family members are coming down to the Middle East, which is not really where we want them. Gone. You are not my lead. Let's see, what have they got? Okay, it's mostly just peasants. I reckon if they made that attack, they'll actually fail. Our standing went down, so that's no good. It does seem to be going down pretty rapidly. I wonder why that is. I just by pressing enter, and I lost two points. King. So doing this, we'll we'll lose a bit of reputation once again with the Pope, but we can't we can't just sit around waiting for three turns. We have to get over to Metz and uh, Dijon. We have to take this back and just finish off the French. We have to. As you command, my liege, an honourable. Oh, maybe if you just push victory. them out of the way, it doesn't really count. Look forward to fighting you. We had to get to store for next turn. Yes, my liege. Sometimes it is better to look the other. Hail, my king. 
this is in terms of cavalry I've got fucking nothing that's okay I don't really need cavalry for a fortress attack Okay, good. They went the wrong way. Well, they didn't go the way they were. didn't go all the way. All right, so it could take Zaragoza straight afterwards, possibly. Let's just hope this actually works. Bounce of power was not great. I'd say it's 50-50 chance of victory here. Let's chuck that in there. Good. Uh, they're Christians. The king decrees release them. Although we hate the Portuguese. Has the Portuguese the are excommunicated, but that's just their king. Do the chivalrous thing and occupy the settlement, as decreed by King Stephen. Okay, just leave behind small force and go and hit Zaragoza. We shall slaughter them, my lord. If all goes well, that'll Seizing finish them off. The cowards, That's what I'm really hoping Patiently for. Awaiting to breach and butcher, sire. Now there is no the way any of them can get... Hang on. Let me just see. If we can get the spy yes, in there. 40% chance. Yes. Ah, well. They'll wish they'd never been born, sire. They're dead once we breach the walls, sire. He might besiege a settlement there, but like I said, if that finishes them off, then Portugal's gone. Which would be really good. This is a nuisance. I tried to press M, but they just didn't take enough damage that it will actually even register to merge them. Okay, we've got Walter over here. Maybe he should raise a, an army at at Khan to help against the French. Then again, money's a little bit tight. So I still want to purchase more structures. So we'll just leave him in London for the time being. To he's not a very good um, governor, though. Pretty much out of money. Now we are out of cash. Nothing's under any real threat right now. Okay, so you to hey, keep coming up here. I want you to support your um I think that's your brother up here. Let's see, what's your name? Leo Fwine and that's Francis. I think they're brothers. Yeah, Francis the Wrathful and Leo Fine. Look at that, your son William, the great grandson of William the, uh, the Conqueror, or William the Mauler, he'll be the next king, unless he dies of old age. Where is William, anyway? Is he over here? I think he's in Alexandria, let me just see. Yeah, there he is. Alright, moving on. Actually waited to starve us out there. Good. Buys me some time to recruit some more troops there. I feel like I need to go looking within the Holy Roman Empire to find a wife for my king. Cause I have to find someone that, you know, I'm not at war with. Oh, motherfucker. Sneaky shits. Alright, looks like, um, I think it was Willem. He needs to raise an army to retake Ren. We're, not, we're never going to be able to stop that. It's, it's... But at least, at least we'll be getting rid of the Portuguese, and then 
we can then focus on Spain. Okay, then in besiege a settlement it shouldn't make any difference because it'll just turn them all rebel in a moment. The enemy lays siege to our people, sire. Foreign princess disgraced. One of our generals who has managed to win the hand of a foreign princess for himself. Oh, that was the girl I was trying to get. Who got her? Well, I noticed that she was around here. You? Let me see, who, who ended up marrying her? I don't think anyone did. I don't, I don't know what happened to her. She just disappeared. I have no idea. No clue at all where she went. Suitable husband for Johanna? Nope. Where is Johanna anyway? Oh, she's not a she's not a princess, so I won't make, make use of her then. Papal states on the moors. Fine. Okay, now fingers crossed. If this works here, it's the end of them. Well, it's not, I hope it is. Faction reconciled. Bit too Victory. late. They're about to uh, Nothing can stop us be eliminated. At least I hope Victory. so. Good to sack it, but uh, the king decrees occupy it due to his chivalry. Oh. Fan fucking tastic. And they'll never come back from that. Reconciled just in time to die. We lose a bit of standing, but that's okay. Really good. That ends the siege there as well. Alright, we've got the Siege of Stalfin to do. Yeah. Yeah, the Pope's not going to be happy about it, but I don't give a fuck about the Pope. Oh no, we're just going to assault, aren't we? Got the artillery. How bad is it? Didn't lose much. But we gotta we gotta bribe the Pope against because he'll probably send us another mission to, to stop killing his allies. Um but really our next stop is Metz anyway. But I just don't want him to say we can be excommunicated if we don't. Forty six settlements, so yeah, we're good. We got victory on the on the previous episode. King Henry achieved us, uh, grew us into an empire. As you oh yeah, I forgot about you. Hail my king. You'd actually make a reasonable hail governor. My king. With honor, sire. Yes, my liege. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. By your command. Merging armies, my lord. My lord. Orders. As you wish. Combining forces, sire. Yes, sir. Good. Public court is still managing to maintain itself. I should send some priests in here. Yes. To try and convert the population. I mean, that siege is still going to go on for quite some time. It's still going to get started. Hail my king. 
Hail my king. Do you reckon you could win that now? I mean, the thing is, you go up against Knights Templar, and you do have some armored swordsmen, they're good. By your will, sire, we shall engage. The thing is, if you remember back over sea, here sire. a few episodes ago when I had someone besieging Pamplona, and it was one turn away from starving out, and then they came and attacked it. As you command, the thing is, though, like, the balance of power is not that great. Like, it's... it's good, but it's not great. I'm, let me just have a look here. A lot of cavalry. Cavalry don't really perform well in order resolve, so let's just give it a shot. Oh, see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Should have kept starving him out. We are disgraced. Fall back and retreat. Your brother Jacob has been disgraced at um, at Krakow. What a what a shit show that was. Oh well, he'll need to go and rebuild his forces and try again. But uh, for you to have been crushed in that defeat, you fucking moron. Should have just kept starving him out. But you know, the Hail balance of power was in my favor. Um, doesn't matter though. Alright, what are we doing next? We're doing this. So today we're up against Anus Herman. Let's go kill him. Honor and glory await England, men. Let your battle cry ring out clear and true. For God, St. George, and the money! Yep, I'm all about that money. Okay, so this is a fortress. We've got enough ammunition that we should be able to afford to bash through two layers of wall, I think. Because there's a few defenders here, not too many. Uh, we'll see. Okay, no one's... Well, if we want to get these to the next layer of defense, they have to breach a wall. Because they can't be... They can't fit through the gate. You know what the funny thing is, is that the animations on Medieval 2 for the siege equipment is actually more detailed, not high resolution, but more detailed than Total War Warhammer. Because in this, you know, you can actually see them, you know, pulling the winches and, and shit and loading the, um, the cannons in Warhammer. None of that. Just, they just magically reload. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's something that I really don't give a fuck about, but everyone play, praises the later Total War, so they look so amazing. No, they don't. They cut corners wherever the fuck they feel like they can cut a corner. Which, you know, it's a business, and if they feel like they can cut a corner and make some more money, I get it. It makes a shit game, though. We've breached our enemy's walls. Men. 
Okay, so they'll be running scampering back to there. Then we'll breach this section here and come in there. We've still got plenty of ammo here. Actually, you can afford to walk. Because they take a long time to recover from fatigue. But truth be told, you run them from here to there, they get exhausted. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. down this tower here as well just in case it activates the enemy's walls into the breach and on to victory what I really liked about Rome 1 is that if you had troops standing right there when the, the walls came down the units in this general vicinity here they'd all die because rocks and stone would fall on them and they just um, they don't they don't have that medieval too which you know it's not something that I really care that much about but it just goes to show you how much detail there was in Rome 1 that slowly got stripped away of, well, not even slowly, like, a little bit of detail was stripped from Rome 1 to Medieval 2, but a lot of other things were added. And when it comes to Empire Total War, it was just like a wholesale rapage of the Total War title. Okay, so I want to get up to here. Of course, got to tell them to go one at a time. Don't need my artillery anymore. Then I want to get my crossbowmen up on the walls. To shoot anyone that comes up over this way. Maybe maybe you should blow this up just in case they activate it. Fuck. Okay, stop. They're not going to activate. They're not going to get past Our this. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Who else is shooting at us? Are oh, they still shooting even though they're in melee combat? That's weird. Still, we'll probably get one or two kills. It's just not going to be many. Need you to come around over here. Actually, shoot the peasants. Because they're activating this tower. Shoot them a bit more and they should break. Only half the enemy force remains. There's more men to the towers and the actual peasants. Right, one or two more volleys, they should break. General lies dead. We've sent the base cur to hell. So just, just shoot him. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great. Reasonable victory. Get a good settlement for it. Still to get burned back. 
But you know, that, that's actually a better settlement because that's still a castle. By God's will, we have triumphed! Milan, They're not excommunicated, show them mercy as per chivalry dictates. Eh, could have sacked it. Would have been too bad. Okay, if we just build this, that will automatically repair that. So, no, no point in wasting additional monies. Where to, sire? How well that happens. Your orders, sire. Okay, build a fort here. Yes, Hail my king. And leave. Yes, my liege. Let's see. Feudal Building knights. What else can we leave vigil. behind? Yeah, leave. Just leave those feudal knights behind to maintain the fort. Making camp here, noble sire. Good, he's got loads of authority. That's that's really going to help. Okay. I think we've got enough or uh, enough spearmen and enough crossbows. Um, we've got three units coming in over here, so Hail I guess you can hire king. one of them. Here's an idea. You guys come over here and join up to him. I mean, it's mostly garbage, but fuck it. It's better than nothing. They're just sitting there costing me money. Now, I did say that you're, you're going to need to raise an army as quickly as possible to combat the Spanish. Although I did want you to actually combat these fucking rebels. Maybe I'll do that first. I don't know. Because the best defense is a good offense. I could send... I could send Josias over here. Oh, there's, there's a lot of troops out this way as well. He may be needed to stay here and defend Toledo. But I really want to send someone out here. Well, hang on, I could send a captain to go and hit them more of the time. Marching to war. The day is ours, sire. Ah! Oh, did I build that that watchtower on the actual thing? That's silly. Yes, sire. Alright, yeah, there's no there's no time, but we've got to focus on on the Spanish. Sire, we are leaving the ships. Your will, sire. Don't have a lot of cash. How much are we making per turn? Yeah, really. If we had sacked some settlements, it would have been a lot better off for money. But oh well. Such is the price of chivalry. So yeah, we'll we'll lose Ren this turn, so I might as well cancel that. There's there's no saving that, and that'll give us some extra trips, uh, extra money to work off. My lord, orders, my lord. Just leave that behind. Sir. Come up here. By your command, we can go no further. We will see you dead. And maybe, if we're lucky, we can starve them out and rend. Just keep them busy there. And maybe we need to have a little bit more of a proactive approach of enemy fleets in the area. Problem is, it's hard to see when they're coming this way. Alright, moving on. Metz is just a castle, so it shouldn't be too hard to beat. Can't do anything about that. They've only got a thousand men. Main thing I hope is that they, they occupied the city, so it's still in good shape when I get there. Peace hostilities against Poland. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, increase my standing with the fucking hell. Jesus Christ, this Pope is a pain in the ass. Well, at least it, it didn't uh, threaten us with excommunication. I mean, that being said, we're not really going up against Poland now for a bit. My lord, as you wish. Hail my king.
Oof, a lot of troops dead. Or a lot of, a lot of people killed. They probably lost a few of their troops as well. The fact that we lost a lot of people doesn't really matter too much because it allows us to uh, lower the... Uh, lower that shit. Although we probably... Oh, it is... It's a huge city. Okay, that's fine. Alright, strongest faction, the Mongols. They must have gotten some reinforcements. However, they still haven't settled down yet. They sacked it, the bitches. Doesn't look like it's well defended out that way. Let's hire a spy. Oh crap, I can't. Alright, well then I don't need this then. Yeah, we could just go there. Problem is, you really, when dealing with auto resolve, you really want to make sure the bounce power is in your favor by a lot. So here we go. Okay, the the public order should maintain itself. It'll be a fine. An order. You need to go the long way around so that you Marching avoid up. this this douchebag there. We go no further today. Orders. Orders. To war then, sire. Prepare to assault the walls. We lay siege. Yes. Merging armies, my lord. By your orders. We're just trying to keep it nice and organized. My lord. Yes. So Merging now we need armies, seven more units. Yes, sire. Joining forces, Miller, as you wish, my lord. Yes, your will, sire. So to battle build the equipment, sire. and then we'll just starve them out. Holy shit! Command, no, we won't. That we'll we'll tank that. That's garbage. The fuck were they thinking coming in here with that? To war, then, sire. The siege goes as planned, sire. We'll be able to take that back, no problem. That's just pure trash. Alright. Now, we haven't got any orders from the Pope not to attack France, do we? They want me to attack Toledo for a thousand florins. Alright, let's do that. Yes, sir. Full sail. Yes, my lord. Engaging the enemy fleet. Yes. Okay, now it's time to take Metz. Hail my king! We got troops here. Sire. Yep, they can all make it. Hail my king! Hail my king! Actually, I'm going to send the Hobblars over here because they're, they're just they'll be used for a, uh, a fort. Yes, I need them in this battle. Hail my king! Send Hail him here first, king. followed by the, the new sire. cavalry, by followed by archers. Followed by artillery, Sire. Yes, and then the rest of this rabbit, rabble. Orders. Sire. Professional knights first. Professional forces, troops. Then Sire. these, and then some men. Joining forces, my lord. Just a single unit of peasants should maintain public order just fine. Totally crap at defending it, but. That's fine. It's it's a the only way they're going to come in here is is through this way here. So that yeah, six turns of non hostility against Poland. That's not going to be good. But we're busy with the French. We should be able to eliminate them hopefully before the uh, the Pope tells us Hail, my to king. stop. Now we're going to have to Hail, bribe the Pope a lot king. this turn. So I may need to sack this settlement in order to donate it to the As Pope. Command, my liege. All right. Well, this this king of theirs is shit. Let's have a look at his stats. How's he be going? He's unconcerned. All right. Cool. Let's do this. Glory to your name, sire. We attack.
In war, there's nothing so becomes a man as bravery before your enemies. A man can be afraid and still be brave. And any man who faces battle without concern is a moonstruck fool. To be brave is to go forward anyway, no matter how afeared. That is why I go forward, in the company of so many other brave men. Our French foes hold us in scant regard, lads. This is a mistake they often make, being arrogant and wine-sodden in equal measure. With God's good graces, we shall strike down a quarter of our enemy's army today. Courage will be our watchword. Despair theirs. Our foes have the advantage in cavalry, and we lack spearmen. But if we fight with true English courage, their advantage will count for little. And at the last, take heart. If you die, you die in the company of honest Englishmen. There is no better place to end your days. But knowing this, you can put aside thoughts of death. That way, even as your heart quails, you will seem brave. And your bravery will inspire your fellows. After all, this works for me! Alright, let's do this. Okay, I reckon just punching right through here would be the best way. Can't do that in Total War Warhammer. Nope. If this was Total War Warhammer, uh, you'd have... The map would be from here to there, and that's about it. I mean, it's a little bit small, but that's about it. And you wouldn't be able to fight on either side of the thing. I don't know. I just I have a problem with the sieges with Total War Warhammer. I think most people do. I, I, don't, I can't think of anyone that goes, Yeah, the to sieges in Total War Warhammer are better than in other games. No, they're far, far worse. Alright. They are the worst that's ever been in Total War. Apart from like Empire Total War, where there there really isn't any sieges unless a fort is actually built. And those forts are shit battles. Anyway, we're not here to complain about Warhammer. I don't know why I bring it up all the time. It's more of a case of, it's praise for Medieval 2 for having the best sieges out of any Total War game, in my opinion. Let's do this up. Okay, hang on one moment, we have got... Got visitors here. Alright, cross Bowman, come up here. You guys come out to here. Did they kill any of them? No. What the fuck are they doing? I suppose up front here. You gotta be careful sometimes when putting the crossbows out in the front, but if you if you put them in the rear, they just don't shoot properly. And what's the point in having them if they don't shoot properly? And anyway, if they charge into the crossbows, well it's fine, well then that way they didn't charge into the, the uh the dismounted feudal knights. Which are more valuable. Ancient Jericho, the walls fall before the righteous. Send our men through to slay our ungodly foe. Let's 
That's it. They're just ripping these mailed knights to pieces. That's what I want to see. Okay, we need to get rid of these towers as well. Okay, so one of them gets away, but that's okay. Let's um, shift over to here and shoot this general's bodyguard. This is actually their king. My good old general killers are going to rip him to pieces. Infantry move forward. Actually, no, no, no. Let, let, let the fucking mercenary crossbowmen get charged. Otherwise, my feudal knights are going to get ripped to pieces. Didn't charge very well anyway. Don't let them get to the trebuchets. Pull these guys the out of combat now. Favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Okay, that one next. All right, good. Stand back, you guys get over here. So they didn't lose too many um, missing across Berman anyway. What's he doing here? Being silly. Well, that's fine, I'll shoot him. Fuck, that general took a major hit from all that. Are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Right, one more volley right into their backs. That'd be awesome. Okay, now let's start using some some of this. Oh, it's out of range. Very unlikely we'll land a hit, but eh, fuck it. Give it a shot. Okay, we got one of them.
Okay, the balance of power is really heavily in our favor, but you know, I don't want to s waste lives. If we can kill their king, that'd make a big difference. I'll just keep bombing it. Doesn't matter if we do damage to the town, I'll instantly repair it anyway. That's a mistake to send them out here. Just shoot them. Ah, I didn't get a shot in. Just missed. Getting quite a few shots in with these, um, with these guys, with the trebuchets. Get back. Right, careful where you're shooting that. Did a bit of damage to us, nothing major though. Because if we can kill their king before we make the attack, these guys here won't be able to hold up against us and get archers up on the wall. Warriors, attack while his men mourn their loss. Oh, this is peasants. Don't bother about shooting them. Okay, what we should do here? Just stop that. Send the cavalry in to crush them. I mean, without any cavalry to cavalry support, when with their king dead, these guys will break. I mean, it would have been better if our guy had some dread, because that would certainly just add insult to injury on them. But, um, solid charge here ought to do it. Well, that tower was active, but I'm sure we can break them all. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the them to come over here. Okay, you guys come in as well. That's it. Is that their general? Is that the king? They just cannot stand and fight. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Make sure he's not getting himself killed. Yeah, he's alright. Good number of them captured there. Okay, good. Spread out over here. If we're going to get them, we want to. Um, we're going to actually manage to capture them all. Don't, no point breaking them right there. So now we'll bring our archers up on the wall, so we can shoot the crap out of them. You can come in here and shoot a cow into them. Hey, 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 which were you which were you shooting, you dickhead? Oh, 
Oh, Toji came up on the wall. That's all of you. I mean, it's all just peasants, but still, shooting them is better than sending the guys into melee. As I've said before, sending guys into melee is the silliest way to win. I mean, if you've got the option to shoot them, then do so. Right, who are we sending in? Send in the mercenaries. My lord, our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. You really need to get in there, kill them quickly. Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. Oh! If they didn't take Dijon, this would finish off the French. But we, but um, so we now just need to go take An Dijon. Honorable, glorious victory. Now we need to victory sack this settlement because this chivalry is not like perfect. Conquest. Because that money needs to go to the Pope. If we have a look at this, the Pope is not happy with us at all. We don't want Order. we don't want shit from him. Just upgrade to fortress. Slightly cheaper in the long run. Yes, my liege. Okay, come over here, Phil. Fort, and then the go back to the men. Yes, my lord. All right. So once again, I'm going to have to pause the recording as I go and bribe the Pope because this will take some time to get it back to perfect. All right. So I got myself back to perfect. Goodbye. It has been. So that will just mean that we don't have to worry about being excommunicated anytime soon for attacking the French, even though they're the ones that started this war. They should have just left well enough alone. They'll pay for this. They'll pay with it with their sovereignty and their lives. Why is public order here going to shit? It's not too bad. Sire, by your command, my lord. And over here, I mean, yeah, that's not too bad either. Main problem here is, of course, religious unrest. You'll never get rid of that unrest. I mean, people have said things along the lines, oh, it's because you've got rebels there. I mean, if we go and have a look at Nottingham, there's no rebels here. Yeah, okay, it's not a good job. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. See, there are settlements where there are no... Hang on. Let me just see. See, there's rebels here when there's no unrest. And those rebels have been there for ages. The thing is, these are traditionally the English settlements. Look at Dublin. Unrest there. 15%. Alright. Okay, there, are, there is no... There are no rebels here at Khan. And there's unrest. It's... It just depends on... On a random... Not even a random fact. There's something hard-coded into it that makes um, makes some settlements have some unrest, because it's not traditionally supposed to be owned by you. Yeah, see, there's, no, there's nothing in... Oh, there's... I don't know, it's hard to say. It's hard to con make a convincing argument with that. One way or another, it's not convincing. Alright, so... Hail my king! Let's see, just a unit of peasants to maintain public order is all that's needed there. My lord. Hail my 
Okay, four. So just send in these guys here. Got some longbowmen, they'll help. Still not supposed to attack Poland for a little while. But just come down here, maybe we'll ambush them. With honor, sire. We shall continue tomorrow, my liege. Sire. You just stay there for the time yes, being. Sire. So if you look at London, it's making a hell of a lot of money. Man, this is why the, the public order is so shit. But, um... Religious unrest can't get any worse than that, I think. I, oh wait, can I go to 100%? It doesn't matter. Um, and this is because, yeah, a lot of heretics have, have shown up around here. Now, you could, of course, hire a, a, um, a priest to go and sort it out, but there are some inquisitors sorting that out. So I guess they'll help. Um, churches don't provide a whole lot of religious influence, so mass panels is probably the best way to go. That way you also get some growth out of it. Churches in this game are very much not great public order buildings. As far as cost effectiveness is concerned, the mayor's palace is the best. Alright, there's just fucking no money left to spend. Let's move on. If they want peace, they can forget it. Unless they give me back that settlement. So yeah, we should be able to win this, no problem. I mean, these guys will not perform well in order resolve, especially if they're defending a settlement. Didn't lose that much, all things considered. Victory! Another settlement falls before us. Victory! Okay, I'm just trying to think what would happen in this situation. So this is one of our settlements. These are English people here. We'll occupy it. My lord, by your command. It's been our settlement for ages. Yeah, well, Spain, you're the one that bloody backstabbed me, so you can go straight to hell. We have their port blockaded, sir. No more words. There's Draw that Portuguese sword. army. An order. Well, what was Portuguese? And we need to make a beeline for. Leon, which is not well defended on. at all. We'll stop here. I'll go and sack that one, though. How's his chivalry? 50-50. Alright, so looking at this... Let's do this. So we'll need to send him off ahead. This will finish off the French. Leaving the rest of the force, sire. By your sire. As you wish. Merging armies, my lord. I mean, we're not going to need knights for this army uh, for this king. attack. So send the peasants in. By your command. Why not? Riding Fuck. Is there even just a little bit of a cannon fodder? Who cares? It's going to be a fairly big battle. Let me, oh, there, look at this. All peasants. So, King Michiel. 
Michelle or whatever, the mean, and Prince Andre, or however it's fucking pronounced, I don't care. Prince dead you fucking cunts. Muster your courage, men! We march into battle! and I see nothing but ass weasels. A bunch of piss-a-bed, cod-nibbling, rotund, hoof merchants and sheep-worrying gits. I've seen donkeys' assholes with more guts than those tosspots. So, it's time to teach the buggers a lesson in fighting like men, not Nancy Winkle pickers. Are you ready? Our foes, the French, it is said, are better lovers than they are fighters. This is true, lads. Ask any goat, pig, or other farmyard animal. We have driven the enemy back to his last bolt hole. Now is the time for the last great attack, lads. Now will your English courage be rewarded with final victory. And after all that... Just go and kill those ass nibbling, merkin grabbing, loon faced idiot nun fondlers, will you? I wasn't aware that he had the trait, Fick, so, um. Maybe he's got it now. Thing is, his father was the profane. Like father, like son, I suppose. But maybe it's just me. Alright, let's do this. So then, what the fuck are they doing? I guess they want to defend a wall that's particularly damaged. It's stupid though, it's not where I'm coming from. Um, bash the walls down. We got the ammunition. Walls into the breach and on to victory. Right, infantry take the walls here, but we're not moving up just yet because if I have to send them all in an all out attack, there is a slim chance we'll be repelled. We should make use of our missile units. need a bit of a layout of the land. If we can cut these fuckers off here and capture them, that'll give us a big advantage. Soldiers have proved their worth today. Bring their troops up here. The enemy's walls belong to us That's now. fine. Bring my crossbowmen up this way. And over here. You come stand there. You up here. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Let's see, we want to get some shots down in on them. That'll rip them to shreds. Very nice, that's working out nicely. You should probably shoot these guys incoming here. Go more towards. Oh, never mind, they just broke anyway. Okay, if they're gonna break, run them down. Just more peasants. You should be able to handle that, King. Right, 
and rip them to shreds. Uh, fortunately, they allowed for them to get away. Okay, hold your fire. More likely to kill the king if you're not careful. Well, that worked out really nicely there. What the fuck are you doing? Get back up here. Okay, they've got more coming. Shouldn't have to worry about them too much though. No, shoot the mounted sergeants. They're far more of a concern than peasants. Oh, these are peasant archers though. Yeah, still. Get rid of the, uh, the mounted um, sergeants. That's silly, they want to send him into melee. Okay, you shoot them. The French are doing a shit job of this battle. Our men are winning the battle. Bloody surrender if we monkeys. Like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, this tower is active, so I need these guys to get off the wall. As in these ones here, so you just need to shoot them. Okay, run them down. So we've killed half of the enemy army. Let's make a mad push for the for town square now. Most of what's left are their professional units, which are not going to come up this way. is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. It, crushing them over here. Quite enjoying watching my kings just absolutely slaughtering these guys. This isn't a battle, it's a slaughter. Okay, you better not hang around here too long because they're kings on their way. Let's let the infantry handle them. My lord, our men are in command of the city. My lord, we've lost control of the city. Well, look at what we got over here. These guys are trying to get back. Good opportunity to shoot them. Come over here, run them down.
Oh shit. Peasants can still kill a king if, if he's in combat for long enough. break any moment now. You guys should stop shooting. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. You'll need to push through a little bit in order to just get that last little bit of breakage. Alright, now we just let them fight. Which will take a while, because there's a lot of high quality units here. Start sending some guys around, just so it speeds things up a bit. By Saint George, our men at last. Our men no longer command the city. Only our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. We'll finish this. This is their last battle. We'll finish them off. This king doesn't want to die, but he will. Won't be much longer now. Oh, hang on, it's not the end of the France yet, because there's still a guy over here. Should break as soon as we just go near it.
This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. And it's good that we can get rid of yet another enemy. Uh. Glory, honor, victory, my lord. Our courage and this honor is our settlement. There's a good Englishman here. We'll occupy it. Although sacking it does seem very enticing. France is gone. And we're just on an hour and a half there, so that's good timing. Alright, so we now have 49 settlements. So he's expanded the realm by four settlements in this episode. That's good. Um, I think our next target will have to be Venice. That seems like a pretty easy target. I think they've only got these two... Well, actually, they've got quite a lot of settlements out this way. But that being said, there's rich settlements over here for us to take. And then once our... Our bullshit thing here. Well, we can probably go and attack them before that time is up. But we'll just lose a bit of reputation with the Pope. But that's okay. We can afford to fall a little bit. But Poland needs to be punished. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe. Part 10, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.